You're listening to the Transactional Real Estate Investing Show, the number one greatest podcast of at least the last five minutes to learn about starting, growing, and scaling a profitable house flipping business through creative deal structuring, seller financing, automation, and delegation. Blair and Jeff are the founders of TransactionalRealEstate.com and have bought and sold like three bajillion houses since the start of this podcast intro alone. Listen as they share their wisdom and war stories to help you go from wannabe to mildly successful. Now, here are your hosts, Blair and Jeff. All right, so you want to get started wholesaling. Well, if you're new to this business, let me be the first to shoot you straight on this thing. This is something I learned from my mentor who I've invested over $60,000 with over the past several years. It's also something I learned from one of my highest paying clients. The guy's doing about a million bucks a year in his house business up in Indiana. And that truth is this. This is a pay-to-play business. I'll say it again. This is a pay-to-play business real estate investing, you will pay either in blood, sweat, tears, or cold, hard cash or other forms of money, such as opportunity cost, etc. Guys, get this through your head. This is a pay-to-play business. You are going to pay for your education one way or another. Now, I sell real estate investing education. So maybe I'm a little biased here, but I can tell you without a doubt that if I could go back in time and do it all again, I would have just spent the money with the guru, whichever one you want, me, somebody else, doesn't matter. I would have spent the money, even if I didn't have it at the time, I would have borrowed it but I would have spent the money because it ends up being cheaper and faster to get you where you want to go in this business. I know that's a hard thing for some of you beginners to understand. I didn't understand it when I began. You know, young buck just out of college, think I'm hot stuff, I can figure this stuff out, can't be that hard. Man, was I wrong. There is a depth to this business, I guess like any other business, and it's the depth that's involved in mastering your craft, mastering your trade, your skill, your business. Because if you can master something, that's when you will see success. But what does it take to master something? It takes discipline, years of work, 10,000 hours or more of doing it, not just studying courses, not just reading blog posts, watching YouTube, listening to audios like this, reading posts and ads on Facebook. No, this is about doing. Learn by doing. So if I'm telling you to go learn by doing, but I'm also telling you to go hire a coach or a guru or pay somebody to teach you how to do this, how does that reconcile with each other? Well, here's the thing. Yes, you learn by doing, but if you can learn from somebody else's mistakes who has gone before you, that's the shortcut in life, if there ever was one. If there's a shortcut to success, it's finding someone who's already done what you want to do, successfully, mind you, And just do what they do. Pay them whatever they ask for them to show you how they did it. And then, here's the key, do exactly as they say. Do not try to reinvent the wheel. Do not add your own flair. Do not think, oh, I know better than this guy. You got to learn the system before you hack the system. Now, once you're in that world and you're learning then it's time to learn by doing. I think it was Sandler, the sales trainer, said you can't learn to ride a bike in a seminar. Same thing goes for real estate investing. All the courses and training and coaches and gurus in the world 
can only ever get you about 90% of the way there. That final 10% is where the rubber meets the road, separates the men from the boys, the winners from the losers. That's when you actually go out and start doing the business, doing deals. What does doing the business really look like? What does it boil down to? Well, I can tell you doing the business is not all this other stuff that a lot of gurus are teaching out there, driving for dollars, doing all this other business setup stuff. Doing the business means really only one thing. Well, one or two things. First thing, talking to sellers, having as many meaningful conversations with sellers as possible as often as possible, saying the right things at the right time, in the right order, in the right way, and the deals are an eventuality. Talking to sellers, meaningful conversations with sellers, is the number one KPI in your business because it drives the opportunity in your business for you to do deals. And if you do deals, you get revenue. Revenue is first. You guys got me? Now, if there is a second thing, it might be a close second to talking to sellers, and that's talking to buyers, okay? But without the sellers, you don't need the buyers, right? So we talk to the sellers first, get deals, then take those deals to the market, find buyers who want those deals, sell them out. Whether they're wholesale deals, investor buyers, or their owner occupants, doesn't matter. A buyer is a buyer, just different kinds of buyers. So you got sellers and buyers. This business is simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. There's a lot to it, but I can tell you that if you want to shorten the learning curve, you find somebody that's done what you want to do and just ask them to show you how they did it. That's all there is to it. All right. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this. See you on the next one. Hey, thanks for listening today. Hey, you know, if you enjoyed this episode and you want to learn more about our proprietary method of investing, just go to moredealslesshustle.com. Again, that's moredealslesshustle.com. So you can grow your real estate investing business without having to hunt for deals all the time, visit houses and visit with sellers and make a bunch of offers on houses you're never going to buy. I'm telling you guys, there is a new way to do this business. We've cracked the code. So come check it out at moredealslesshustle.com. And we look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks. Thanks.